guys and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to cut a shirt a simple way to cut a shirt especially for beginners this is how i cut my shirt and i hope you like from today's video let's go so this is our material a measuring tape a chalk a ruler we have our scissors for cutting and our measurement so the first thing is to fold your material into two and then you mark out the tip off that's how i love packing out today move the tip off it's not necessary and then you get your length the length of your trouser mine is 19 i did not add allowance because i'm going to be putting a ton up so i mark out 19 all through after that i rule out then i at the tip of the material i will mark out half inch to start my measurements from there because let i just left it's not necessary anyways but that i love doing my just remove half inch out i will start my measurements from the line just to get a straight line where I get my measurement. Then after this, I get my clutch line, which is 9 inches. I mark it all through to... It's advisable to mark it 9, 9 inches all through your material to get a straight line. You don't want to have a bent line. So this is how I do my... And after that, I use my ruler. Don't use your hand please it's advisable to use ruler to mark out then after that i use um two inches to get to my hip line two inches to get to my hip line then i rule out and use um i use three inches to get to my clutch my clutch sorry clutch <laughs> three inches rule out the three inches was gotten from the hip measurement that was already divided by four i divided it by four again and it gave me two point something two point seven so approximately three inches okay so that's how you get your clutch line then you make a curve let it bend now it has to be at that point not at the other edge of the cloth or at that point or the adjacent point let me see that way and after that i take my measurement for my waist and my hip and then at the base of my cloth measured clothes i take out one inch to get a slant line to my clutch line make sure that it's straight i use one inch just to the tip of my clutch line and then i get my take measurement for my tie my tie measurement i take the measurement for my tie adding 1.5 inches allowance as you can see you have a curved clutch and everything is set the next thing is to cut out cut it out please just pay attention if you don't get it just look at what I'm doing I know it's kind of fast forward well please just pay attention it is very easy very very easy to cut a shirt very very easy you just cut out your cut through your trace line and you can see we have so this is the front part of the shirt after this we we'll place it on a folded material again that same material you fold it into two and then you place the front one on it and then you use two two inches at each point of the clutch line just look at what I'm doing. Two inches. You take two inches. 
two inches now the other part of the clothes you don't add allowance to it it's only on this part i don't know if you understand what i'm saying you only add the two two inches on this part not on the other side then trace out please just look at what i'm doing i'm sorry that the video is kind of fast forwarded please just pay attention then at the tip i'll add one inch up and i'll take that one inch down to my waistline using my ruler you see that i didn't add any allowance at the hip part don't add any allowance at the hip part you're only adding two two inch at the front of your clutch line and um the slanted area of your towels as you can see yep i like i said before i'm not adding an allowance to the baseline because i'm going to be doing a turn up so next thing is you just cut you just trace it out that's all you see it's very simple it's very very simple to do so now we have the front part and the back part set the back is always larger than the front because of the extra allowance that is being added and which is two inches don't forget the tip of the cloth of your clutch um add for the back one inch is added and then you slant it to the back so you can see so the next thing now is to stitch the clutch the front clutch and the back clutch Make sure the line is curved. Follow what you cut. And I'll make my dart. I use 5 inch to get my dart for the front. Though I'm going to be putting an elastic band for this clothes. I'm going to put an elastic band. But it's, ne it's not necessary to put your dart anyways. But I decided to put that. And this is my dart. Next is to iron. Ironing, ironing is very essential in sewing. It makes your clothes look so smooth and to be puffy. So after that, you join the two edge of the clothes. You join it, let it meet at the point, the back and the front. As you can see, I love starting from the center to the other end. And then I'll turn it over and start from this center to the other end not from end to end i love starting from the center so that it to just be uniform as you can see two of them are on the same line that just sent to each other that just sent to each other so if you finish sewing and it's not adjacent ha huh, there's an issue <laughs> so next is to put my band I actually made a mistake i would have made a straight band because um, I will still stitch the band together because I'm adding an elastic. I'll top stitch. After adding the band, I'm going to top stitch it so that it looks flat and neat. So I added a pocket to this, but I skipped it. I'm going to make in a video on how to put in a pocket. This is a band. I've added the band. Then this is for our turn up. I added the paper stay to it to make it stick. So you just watch how I'm going to fix it. It's very, very simple. So this is it. After folding it into two, I'll put it inside the clothes. As you can see, just watch. I might not be able to like, describe it exactly, but please just watch. Put it in and then use a pin to hold it round to make it sit now the band should be the exact circumference of your knee okay and it must be equal so after that you just stitch it up as you can see now so the next thing is to stop stitch it round so that when you fold it the stitch will not show it will just sit in place okay 
look at where I, you are not stop um stop stitching up you see it's down below the line let me use that word okay you look right now right you can see now after folding it this is how it looks like so you just iron it to make it look straight and neat so we're going to do the same thing on the other um, part of the trouser and you can see it's just done looking neat and simple so I said to use um, an elastic for this video just in case um, because it's very easy to start putting zip my same um, hand it's just it's for beginners you can start with using elastic then as you progress you put a zip so I really hope you enjoyed this video and hope you get to try this any questions you can put it in the comment section Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.